Greetings, brothers and sisters. It's your brother, Sudden Esperance, or as some of you may know me as the podcast man. We back again uh, this afternoon for me, but this morning for our brother, Brian Smiley. You know, I hope he's a smiley person. <laughs> I try to be. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> we got a brother, you know, who's about to come and, and share their testimony on how God got them out of the world and into the truth. How you doing this morning for yourself, brother? I'm doing very well, sir. I'm, I'm just trying to get myself together, but I'm very grateful to be here. How, how about yourself? Oh, man, you know, it's another testimony. I'm happy. I'm excited. Another another testimony to come and help and encourage the brothers and sisters, including myself and those out there that are watching, you know, so it's always wonderful to to get a testimony. Another, and it's always wonderful to get another day, to get an opportunity to get right with God. What, where are you? Where do you guys reside? What the uh, state? Uh, we reside in San Diego, California. Oh, okay, okay. Cali, Cali. Okay, wow. We got San Diego in the building today. Yes, hi, hi. <laughs> hi, Cali. I see. But, uh, but no, uh, um, thank you very much for taking the time to come on and being able to share your testimony because I know this is time that takes away. I know you're a family man as well. And, you know, I'm truly grateful, especially the ones that are family men, you know, that, you know, take the time out because I know it's a lot. You know what I mean? It's a lot. And then to take the time out and come and share your testimony is, is truly a, a blessing. Before we get into it, as always, brothers and sisters, this podcast affiliates itself with one church and one church only. That is First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ, where the leader, teacher, and guide is Apostle Pastor Gino Jennings. If you want to be baptized right, in the name of Jesus Christ, you can go on the truthofgod.com, click locations, see what location is closest to you, call the main contact of that location so you can set up that baptism. Also, if you want to look for a, a temple, if you're looking for a location, same process. Click location, see what location is closest to you, so that way you can go on and attend service. Also, don't forget, brothers and sisters, let's keep the apostle and his family in prayer, as well as the faithful ministering brethren and the family is just the same. And let's not forget to keep one another in prayer too. Brothers and sisters, I say moreover, you don't know what one is going through. Depression, anxiety, stress, just the difficulties. Some are probably on the edge, just want to backslide. Mm -hmm. Some are probably in the process going back to their old ways. And oh my God, just, let's, you have to continue to pray for one another, brothers and sisters, even though Amen. the ones that you do see that are falling behind, that you do see going back to their old habits. Don't 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 stick a foot down their neck. Don't don't go to look to oh look what so and so is doing. Pray for them, brothers and sisters, because we are in the truth of God. This is for real. You understand? So those challenges that you may have thought they're done, maybe a year ago you came in, they're creeping right back in. So let's not forget oh, yeah. to pray for one another, brothers and sisters. Also, before we begin, as always, I give all honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the head of my life and indeed our soon coming King. I give double honor to the former prophets and apostles of old, double honor to our present-day leader, teacher, and guide, Apostle Pastor Gino Jennings. And I give God thanks for the faithful ministering brethren who labor along with the apostle in this hard way of holiness. Also, I give God thanks for those that, you know, do the, the, the other works in the church, you know, a, a medical unit, usher, security team, those of you that are behind the scenes, cameramen, all of y'all that, you know, have involvement on, on um, really helping this work. I thank God for you all. As always, for me, brothers and sisters, just continue to pray for me and my family that, you know, we strive and 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 hold on to God's unchanging. Because it's not going to change, you know. Maybe sometimes yeah. we may hope next day, man, maybe holiness is going to be different. It's not, it's not going to change. It's not going to change. Oh, no. It's going to still be that same rough stuff that it is right now, this moment, next week, next month, and next year. That's why we got to thank God for a leader who, who, who doesn't budge, who doesn't flinch, who continues to stay in that straight Holy way. That's enough for me, brothers and sisters. We're going to get right into it. We're going to get our testimony from Brother Smiley ah, on how God brought him out of the world and into the truth of God. So, Brother Brian Smiley, tell us, how did God bring you out of the world and into his church? Uh, well, it was a it's a long story. Um, so I grew up in the uh, Baptist church um, from the age of nine. First, before then, uh, my father, he's a pastor in the uh, church of christ so that's a whole nother he still currently is still currently is um and um so i came up through the baptist church and you know i'm a you know musician or whatnot and uh you know coming up through the church and you know singing and singing in different churches and and i it, and i had some of those experiences that pastor talks about you know like praise night and you know all the different talents that's in the church and you enjoying yourself and things like that and um 
just uh, you know, one day I started to think, you know, you know, like this can't be the church that God ordained in the scriptures, you know, because the church I went to is a is a traditional black Baptist church. Mm. All the things that you hear about the church, it happened there, you know. And one day I was just like, uh, there's no way possible that this could be the church that the that the scriptures ordained, that the scriptures talked about. So I started to look elsewhere um, without letting anyone know. And um, and I came across Islam. So, yes. So um, I started to study Islam and I started to look into it. And, and, you know, the scripture says one God. I never could get the Trinity down. I was always taught the Trinity. And I'm like, what is the Trinity? It only says one God here. So they could never explain it. So uh, I went and I started to look into Islam and I say, OK, maybe this is the way. And, um, I, you know, one day I said, you know what, I'm going to go down to the master and I'm going to take Shahada. I'm going to become a Muslim, which would have went against every one of my family's wishes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, you know what, but, you know, I, I'm going I'm to see what what God say first. I say, God, if this is truly the way. If Jesus is truly the way, please give me something. And I remember I was up late at night. I, I'll never forget it. And um, and I came across this fellow called Tony Smith. I don't know if you ever remember him. Yeah, I heard uh, of him. I heard of him, yeah. And uh, first, you know, I was going through that. I could never get down with the seven-day advantage. You know, you're only supposed to be in church on Saturdays. And, um, excuse me. And, uh, I said, you know what? Okay, this not, this not, this, this not, this not sticking with me. So you know what? I'm going down to the master. So that one faithful night, I never forget. It was three fifteen in the morning. He came. He said a name that I never heard before, called Pastor Jennings, and he brought up a scandal, which I'm like, why would you even put that out? But I know that not to be true, right? So I said, okay, who is this Pastor Jennings? I went ahead and I clicked him off and I put up Gino Jennings and all these videos came down. And the first video I picked was him responding to Tony Smith <laughs> with the body bag and the yellow tag <laughs> <laughs> and a yellow caution tag. And I said, who is this? <laughs> who is this dude? So, you know, and he got the brothers to bring out the body bag and the, and the caution tape. And I remember seeing a room full of people and I was like, yo, who is this guy? You know, and I looked him up and I see he was from Philadelphia. So when he was talking, you know, your first, my first reaction was, oh man, this guy is arrogant. Mm -hmm. You know, man, this is, you know, here go another big city preacher. Mm -hmm. But something told me, do not move, listen to what he has to say. And brother, when I heard him preach, I've never heard, I heard something I never heard in church before. And that was teaching. I never heard that. It was and, like music to my ears. And how many years were you in the, we need, we need, I need you to say that again. How many years were you in the Baptist church for you to From say nine, the first time, the first time? Yes, sir. You heard I came, teaching? I got baptized. So 2014, I was 27 from nine, basically all of my life to 27 years. And the first, and the first time, re repeat what you said. Repeat what for the first the, time in church. What did you hear? The first time I ever heard teaching, real teaching, breaking down the scriptures, what scriptures mean. And you know, coming from the Baptist church, once saved, always saved. Mm -hmm. You know, it didn't sit well with me. Yeah. You know, so I looked at Islam like, okay, this maybe this is the holy way, but here's a Christian speaking the same, almost the same things as the as the Muslims. Mm -hmm. So I said, what is this? What kind of Bible are you preaching out of? So I, I sat there and for, I'm not going to lie, for the first year, I'm trying to catch him so I can justify me going elsewhere mm -hmm. or me continuing to do the things that I wanted to do. But it, it just kept hitting home. And, and uh, one day I, I just couldn't fight no more. I sat up. It was at four in the morning. And I remember because my wife was asleep on the couch, you know, next to me. I used to, I work nights mm -hmm. um, at that time. And um, I said, oh my God, I'm not saved. 
me being baptized, I was baptized wrong. Uh, you know, me so-called leading people to Christ, I led them astray. And I said, Lord, I immediately started repenting. And I said, I need to be baptized. And I thank God that he allowed me to get to that day and, and, and to hear the, and hear the scriptures, you know. Because when I first heard him, I, I didn't I didn't want to believe that. Mm. This way is rough. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah. And to hear no smoking, no drinking, you know. <laughs> I, I don't know if you know, I'm I'm active duty in the, in the Navy. And no drinking. Mm. What? Yeah. Are you serious? Uh, I I couldn't believe it, and I I, I just uh, it, it it took the wind right out of me. Mm. I remember it like yesterday, and I said, "Yo, I need to be baptized." So uh, we contacted um, the church, and and uh, they sent Brother Bo out from um, from from uh, from Portland, and he baptized me and my wife. And uh, that's the greatest day ever. I've never been the same since. And so, yes, to, to, to reiterate before we go on, so here it is you're in the Baptist church your whole entire life. Now, yes, sir. before we get to the next part, what was it so much that you've seen where you had to tell yourself this can't be the church that's in the scriptures? What was going on in the Baptist church you were going to? Every, think of um, every. Everything, everything that you could think of. Everything, like the, uh, you know, the not only the, you know, the babies out of wear, like that could happen anywhere, but it's just the, the scriptures. Like scriptures will say certain things. Like he said, once saved, always saved. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what you do. You know, God understands it. You know, let's, you know, let's work to be better and things like that. But that's not what I read. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember reading that scripture, I'll be with you while you be with me. I, I was uh, so that that didn't sit well. Um, you know, hell is real. They don't speak about hell a lot of times in the Baptist church. Um, and there was a few other things that that really stood out um, to me about things that were happening, not per se uh, people, personal business, but, you know, just scriptural wise, it, it just didn't sit. There was really no growth, mm -hmm. I could say. Um, there was no really no conviction, I could really say that was there. That I didn't, that I felt, I haven't felt that until I came in, into holdings. Mm -hmm. There was conviction to do, you know, to do God's way, regardless of what people say. There was no compromise in the in the holy way, you know, in the, in the, in a Baptist way, any other way, you could compromise some way. You know, but I, I can't find that here. I don't want it. You know, I want to do it what God need, you know, wants me to do. So it 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 was it was a it was a uh a humbling moment to find out that you're truly not saved, even down to the baptism. How were you that, baptized? Uh at the age of nine, uh I was baptized hot father, son, and holy ghost. And and to swallow your pride and say, hey, I need to I need to be rebaptized. That's a humbling moment, yeah. you know. So I, I will never forget that. I never forget that day either. And then plus they had the the Trinity as well. The in, Trinity. In, in. They could never explain it. I'll ask the pastor, you know, um, <clears throat> you know, how, how how can you explain this? You know, and he would get some roundabout way, you know, the body of Christ and. and and I just, it just never stuck with me, mm -hmm. so I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't get that. I still don't get it. How can you justify the Trinity? And then, how was things like? I mean, you know, because your dad is still there, you know, and it's still preaching in the Baptist church. <laughs> when you leave that way, the mm -hmm. action is saying, "Dad, you're wrong." You know, you're oh, oh. If, you, if you're at fault if you don't change. You're on your way to hell. How how did that like, you know, play out? Like, did you just say, uh, "Hey, family, I'm leaving, I'm gone," or like, how did I that? I didn't play say. Out? I didn't say anything. See, nothing. Wow. Yeah, nothing. I didn't ask to get it. I didn't ask to get out. Just like Pastor said. <laughs> just like Pastor said. Oh, he wow, said, "Hey, wow. you didn't ask to get in. Don't ask to get out." Yeah. Um, yeah, he he's still in the he's still in uh brother he's still in the Church of Christ and um does and, he know uh, about PG at least or? he does yeah 
plenty of times I would refer him. I, you know, I don't know the scriptures like 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 a uh, like like pastor, so I refer him, you know, to what our beliefs are, and I and I send him, uh, you know, some pod, um, not podcast, excuse me, some telecast. Mm-hmm. Um, he says so far he likes what he says, but you know, he's been in that way. He's seventy two years old, so he's been in that way his whole life. Yeah. You know, even down to my grandfather, who I never met, he was a elder in exactly. the Church of Christ as well. Yeah, so he he's a uh, he's not changing. I I can go to say that, but uh, it, it's more than that. You know, my mother she's a woman preacher as well in in that Baptist church, and in yes, wow. and has a has a school of ministry. So it's like all sides is was against my decision. Mm-hmm. I should say that, wow. but I mean we you know through a I guess battling, <laughs> we we came to the conclusion I'm not leaving. I'm not changing it. You know, I'm I'm blessed to be where I'm at. So and so now you leave and clearly, you know what, this Trinity stuff, this Baptist stuff, it's not it. I need to find a way. So let me, you know, find a way. And where that way is Islam. And you were very close. You you were ready to go to Masij, get mm-hmm. the Shahada done and all that stuff. And then you pray and ask God, if 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 it's Jesus Christ, if it's him, just show me. And here it is. You get Tony Smith and it's like, oh, oh. This, this ain't working out. Like, like look, really? <laughs> this is this is what I'm getting right now. And what's crazy is you're watching, you're watching, you're watching, you're watching. And of course, it's a bunch of nonsense. But all it took. Oh, you see, this is this is why Tony Smith. I have to. I have, if you're watching this, Tony Smith, I have to. I, I, I gotta give you a round of applause, huh? All you false prophets out there that be naming astrogenics. Yes, I gotta do this for you. I got. I got because we got one. We got one. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Oh yes. And, and the crazy part is here. You're watching, and of course, it's not going to be what you're expected. Mm. So now, the more you're watching, the more. Yeah, I'm going towards Islam now. I'm going towards Islam, but mm. here. The evil he was trying to do, he mentions Pastor Gino Jennings. That's like, ding. And then now you end up searching him. And then fast forward, here you are today. Like, this stuff, you can't make this stuff up. You can't, you just can't make this stuff up. But now, so, within that process of, of coming mm-hmm. in and, you know, being active, Navy and stuff, like, you know, married and all that, like, what were, what were these? How was that like coming into holiness? Like, what was the challenges? You know, you have to oh, face. Oh, whoa. <clears throat> um, it was like a it was like a car wreck. Um just turning, uh doing a a complete turn from the things you used to do. Uh first, you know, have to stop, you know, swearing and things like that. You know, your friends, you you know, my real friends was like, Oh, hey, you know, hey, that's great, man. Um, you know, keep it up. And some of them have followed me over. Mm-hmm. Um, but to I guess being a military and to be in holiness is you have to have a sound, a strong mind. That's all I can say. Um, it, that that process is still not ongoing, but um, you're strange. I should say you're a strange fruit in a in a basket. You know, people start to notice. Hold on, man. You don't you don't curse. You're, you're all right. You know. <laughs> You don't drink. <laughs> what you mean you don't drink? No, I don't drink, brother. I'm I'm all right. You know. Uh uh, okay, can you take us to such and such? You know, no, nah, I can't take you there. I, I can't help you out with that, you know. Um, are there others who are like who follow this way in the in the in the military? Yes, they are, but the very few and very far in between. So you're you're the strange one in your in your command. But uh it so far it has been you know, in a way rewarding and it's been challenging, but it definitely helps, uh, you know, being around different people, different religion, different way, points of view. Um, it, it keeps you sharp, I should say. Um, but uh, I wouldn't trade it for nothing in the world at all. I wouldn't trade it at all. But you're definitely strange. I can mm-hmm. say that. <laughs> Oh, definitely course. strange of course yes, that's sir. like you know uh, within in the world or anything oh, somebody yeah. goes in whether they're like a teacher a doctor mm-hmm. or a nurse you know yeah. it's 
that transition, you know what, sometimes it's not that it gets tiring, but it's like, uh, here we go again. Because you don't want to yes. get into that explaining. Yes. You know what I mean? Like just yesterday, I'm doing some work. And uh, as I'm at the cash shop at Walmart, you know, a guy comes in front. Hey, can I just skip you? I just need to purchase. It was like a, a thing of alcohol. I'm like, oh, nah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, my bus is about to leave. And then mm -hmm. you can tell the cashier, he was iffy too. He was like, because the guy was like, okay, where's the beer lane? The cashier was like, eh, you know, because maybe he yeah. was, you know, in something as well. It's just those type of small things. And now it's like, why not? Blah, blah, blah. It's just beer, just alcohol. And it, it's those small things that come so quick, you know? And then sometimes you mm -hmm. can be strange to your family, especially when you Ooh. were a specific way. You understand? Mm -hmm. You were under the light. You were out there and this and that. You mother this and this mother that and all this and oh, getting yeah. the alcohol and jigging and boom and slamming it and let's get it on. And oh, it. yeah. And now you're telling me you're going to church? Oh, hey, yeah. Wait, hey, dude, don't you see it's 2022, bro? Like, church is not existing <laughs> no more, brother. Come on, dude. Like, what are you saying, that. bro? It's like, what? Wait, you're telling oh, me you yeah. don't even drink a little bit, bro? Like, come on, dude. Like, oh, yeah. It's like, yo, you crazy. It's like you're like, a, you're like an alien. You're living like an alien to them. You know? Oh, yeah. So it's, 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 that's, that's wow. That is wow. Like, just oh, yeah. the way you're, that's just my days. The way that testimony transition, if you were to just stop the video at a certain point, you probably would have never heard Tony Smith mention Pastor Gino Jennings. I never would have. I never would have. Uh, it so what, was, what kept you listening? What kept you like, it even was though you knew burning, it was like, nah, this is not it. Mm -hmm. What kept you listening? It was a burning desire to know God. Because I want to know him. I want to, who, you know, who is the creator? You know, what, what is he, what is he, uh, what does he want from me? How can I help him? You know, or if I can't help, how, how can I give my life the way that he would want me to give it, right? So there was a burning desire that kept me there, but he wasn't clicking, you know. And I said, you know what? I'm done with this. I'm going. I'm going down to the masses. I, I done made my mind up. I know I'm gonna lose family members. Mm -hmm. That's fine, as long as I know I'm at peace. Yeah. And he said that name. He put. He pulled out that paper. I don't know if you saw it, but he read this fake letter that some sister from the church had sent him, and all this. And he said, you know, Genesis, you know. I said, you know what? Let me see who he's talking about. Mm -hmm. Pulled it up, and it says, I think it said, uh, Pastor Jenner responds to Tony Smith. Mm -hmm. And I just, you know, to get through all the fluff, I went ahead and fast forward, and I saw this yellow tape they pulled out. They bought out the body bag. <laughs> and I was laughing. I said, who is this guy, <laughs> man? Who is he? And he was up there pointing at the camera, and mm -hmm. Am I right? You know, and I'm like, <laughs> and I'm sitting there like, yo, who is this? Yeah. And you know, my wife would hear little bits and pieces, but I was captured by this. I was captured by him. Like, mm -hmm. who is he? You know, he was funny, you know, charismatic. I thought he was arrogant, but he's very humble. Mm -hmm. Very, you know, I talked to him on the phone before and very good brother. I said, man, who is he? So, you know, I said, all right, well, let me get past this point. And uh, and also there was one last point that really got me when he said, and he accounted unto them less than nothing. Wow. I said, man, you could be less than nothing. Yeah. Is that in the scripture? Yeah. You know, so I fast forward. And when he started breaking down the scriptures, I've never heard that before. I've never seen a reader and how they harmonize together. Mm -hmm. I've never seen that. I never really seen the Holy Ghost move on somebody before. <clears throat> That I said, I, I, I was like, what is this? So that that first year was just me trying to justify to get out of it. But I was stuck, man. I was stuck, brother. I said, hey, there, there's no way this can't be the holy way. And I had to, when I came to that realization, I, I had to get baptized. But now, as you see how strict holiness is, because mm -hmm. the military, I mean, shoot, the uh, military is strict too, and, and yeah. somewhat, of course, you know, we may get you know some of that smoke and drink and stuff, but in reality, the the motto is 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 very strict, very disciplined. Very strict. Did you did did that make it a bit at ease for you? 
to come to holiness because you were already used to a certain type of strictness? Or was it just, nah, like, it, it's two different type of strictness mm -hmm. pretty much? Uh, it's two different type of strictness. Um, the military as a whole, you know, you know, devotion to duty, uh, perseverance, uh, determined, you know, determination. Mm -hmm. uh, that goes kind of hand in hand. But, you know, there's a different side of the military, you know, you know, the party and the relaxing and things. Those are things I don't indulge in. Yeah. Um, so that was the hardest. That was the not the harder part, really. That was the part where, you know, um, where it clashed, you know, but it made it easier to the well in the military because a lot of things I don't I can't get in trouble on because I'm not there. Yeah. You know, I'm not participating in those activities and things of that things of that nature. So there's a lot of stuff I don't have to worry about. I just go to work, go to duty. I go home. I'm at the rank where I'm supervising many people. So I don't I don't have to worry about things like that um, compared to other folks. You know, so it, it did in a way kind of make it easier. Mm -hmm. But the, on the flip side, it, it's it's a, like a two edged sword. Mm -hmm. You know, there's things like you say, some people want to <laughs> go back out in the world, you know, because, you know, before you when you're in ignorance, life is life is great. Yeah. When you come into holiness, you, it gets real. Mm -hmm. You like, yo, this ain't what I thought it was, exactly. you know. Exactly. So, um, but other than that, it's it's, I say it's a two edged sword. <laughs> it's it's easier and it's not. I don't know how to explain it. Because well, um, it's like for the military, it's mm -hmm. you're always there's somebody behind you. You know, wake up at this time. Let's get out at that time. Let's get out. But now you have holiness. It is strict. You have to be willing to do it. You have mm -hmm. to be willing to give this up. You have to be willing to give that up. You have to be willing to get up that extra early to get that prayer in. You have to be willing, you know, it, it's a difference sure. There's where it's like, you, you have to, but this one, yeah, you have to, but it's like, mm -hmm. you have to have that willingness to do it and not somebody forcing you. How, how like what, being in truth though, mm -hmm. how different, you know, are you now as a man from before you were because, you know, you're a father, you're a yes, husband, sir. and a lot of times people... You know, they always see PJ. Yeah, you know, they come across this man's arrogant. He hates women, all this and stuff. He's an abuser, <laughs> all that type of stuff. Let us know how much did you learn? How much have you improved from of how you were, you know, before coming into this mm -hmm. teaching versus how you are now? And of course, there's still stuff we struggle with and develop. But oh, yeah. just that development stage, you know, as father, husband, brother, you know what I'm saying? Son. Just, just, just that case. Like, how, how, what was what's the difference from before up to now? It's long, a huge difference. Um, you know, the Navy can teach you about duty, but holiness teach you about duty. It's my duty to be a husband, to love my wife, to honor my wife, to, you know, the to, to you know, dwell with my wife according to knowledge. The the you know, not only you know, discipline my kids, not over discipline, you know, not you know, kill them, but you know, to have a balance. Mm -hmm. It taught me how to be a man, basically. It really has uh, to show love and honor to my parents, regardless of our, our Difference. spiritual differences. Mm -hmm. I honor my parents. Every year I would go home by myself just to spend that time with them, you know, to, you know, take them wherever they need to go, to just love on them. It really taught me duty as a person. It taught me duty as a son, as a husband. As a father, it taught me how to love my family better. Um, it, you know, it taught me the things that matter. You know, we don't have much time on this earth. So every time I can get with my family now, I, I take I take it as much as I can. Um, as much as I get, I have the time with my parents. I take it as much as I can. Uh, it taught me a lot as a it, it, uh, as I tell my wife all the time, it really, really has taught me how to be a better man. Holding his hands. The Navy can only take you so far, but holiness took me further than I ever dreamed of. And I, I, I can I can only thank God for that. Because it, it taught me, it taught me how to truly love my family, mm -hmm. you know, and to take care of them, to, you know, do whatever it takes to make sure they they never go without, you know, and I and and you know, and the only one who can give you that is God. And I, I think I thank God for that every day. That's, that's that's beautiful you know and uh it's it's I, I ask these questions now because you know a lot of times 
<clears throat> when I've shown people to the apostle, I, I, I believe a lot of times people just want to find anything to, you know, refuse yes. this way. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to change the way I am. It's so too I'm hard. Gonna, I'm going to find a way. <laughs> now, nah, this man, he he, mm -hmm. he looks angry all the time. Now, nah, now, nah, this man, he, he sounds too harsh. Now, nah, this man, he's arrogant. Now, nah, this man, who, who, who does he think he is? When is his baggage going to get pulled up? Now, nah, this man, I know he abuses his wife at home. I know his kids are just hiding him out <laughs> and they abuse the kids. Like, they just find mm -hmm. anything. It's like that those nonsense men that were in Bahamas. It, it's, it's just, it's like, when they're yeah, saying yeah. that stuff, you know, you get to a point where you realize people have nothing else to argue or debate on. They just have you nothing. Know. They just, they have to find something. And the patience, the, look, the patience he has is a, as a patience only God can give. How Way many more people would have just told yeah, yeah. these, yeah, get, get out of here. As soon oh, as yeah. the man said, I, I don't sin, to go, oh, yeah, just, 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 just get out, get out, get out. Yeah, I cut, just, I cut know? my phone off on that <laughs> <one>. <laughs> I cut Damn my phone now. straight off. Yes, sir. Like, I said, oh, say, no. It's like that's how much yeah. you have to find anything, you know. Look, all these men, all these men constantly going after him, constantly attacking and this and that. You see the apostles still standing still. Thanks be unto God. You know, so it's it's Amen. as those of you watching, you know, yes, it's rough, yes, it's tough. And you know, before I move on to what I need to say, explain to us how important it is, you know, to have rough and tough teaching to get you out of a rough and tough lifestyle how important is that and how important was that for you uh very important um like the analogy that uh that that the apostle gave is it's it's like a snake shedding his skin you need something rough to rub upon you know and sometimes you might have to rub back and forth but it's, it eventually it will come off you need that type of teaching in a hard world you need a hard teaching yeah. You need something like that. It's it's like a like 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 Pastor said, it's like a shot of liquor. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's hard to swallow, but you know, hey, it, it gets the job done. So I I, I appreciate it. I, I I thank God for it. That's wonderful. That's that's wonderful. Yes, and really, it it comes down to understanding where you're at in life at times, because you know when mm -hmm. things are going nice and good and wonderful. Uh, not all people feel like, okay, I need to get something rough and tough, but it's when that misery comes and you're trying to find those answers and you can't get them. And the one mm -hmm. place you do find them is in God's church. And now you get the answer and it's like, shoot, now that I got the answer for this. Okay. I, I agree here, but I don't agree with this. I agree there, but I don't agree with this, you know? So, but those of you watching, mm -hmm. y'all keep watching. Y'all keep learning. And so forth, whatever. Other, I, I hope you run out of excuses to the point where you just come along in this thing of holiness. It's hey, hard though. On. It's rough. It's tough. You know, you're going to look. I've had more rough days than good. Oh, my days have been good days. Don't get me wrong, but I've had rough days. Yes, Tell sir. You this, this. When you realize you're in those situations that you were even before you came into this thing, but you used to go about that situation in a different way. Now you got to go about it in a way being in holiness. You feel like as if you stuck, not stuck because you, you don't have, you don't know what to do. You know what to do, but you don't want to do it because you want to do it to your old ways and so mm -hmm. forth. It's, it's, it's tough at the end of the day, you know, and I always say this before, you know, those coming in, because I never tell people, yeah, you're going to come in. It's going to be wonderful, splendid. <laughs> hallelujah. Bless his precious name. And you're going to have a good. No, when you come in this thing, I'm. T oh, my God. Ali. You're going to go through some stuff. You're going to go through some yeah. stuff, you know. So but before we conclude, Brother Smiley, please tell us actually two questions. Yes, the first being. When you look around and see what the Lord has done for thee. Mm -hmm. How grateful are you to God for the apostle? I mean, just think about it. You were in close because look, when you for those of you that don't know, when you're in Islam, I mean, to come, it can God can pull out anybody from anywhere. But when mm -hmm. you're in that, it is a stronghold. It's like some stubborn apostolics still in their ways and saying, Oh, we're just the apostolic way, but the same thing mm -hmm. has da 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 and this and that, boom, 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 and all this type of stuff. It's a stronghold a lot of them have. They don't feel the need to come out. Because you know what? I'm in this way. Da -da 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 -do. Islam, it is that way as well. When some are in it, they are in it. You understand? 
So getting into that right there, oh, it could it could have been no, because when you're in it as well, you're not gonna mm-hmm. have in mind to listen to these, you know, uh, um, preachers or so forth. You're gonna listen to your imam. You know, you're gonna want to stick to your prayers and 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 so forth. So how grateful are you to God for Apostle Juno Jennings? Extremely grateful. The the what he does and what he sacrificed. I, I don't think I don't think a lot of people can really fathom, you know, and to do this and he's doing this for free. Mm-hmm. I know most preachers, they getting paid. Mm-hmm. He's not, you know, he's out here because he truly loves the soul of people, and he's truly on God's on, on the mission that God gave him. And I thank God for him. I pray that God continue to give him strength and continue to you know touch his body from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. You know, keep and keep our dear brother here because man, he is doing God's work. And and I, I think I praise, I thank God for him. Wonderful, wonderful. And, I thank God for him. And, and you have absolutely no doubt that this is God's church, that this is the way. You have no doubt. And if you have no doubt, no doubt. Why, why why don't you have any doubt now? Why why not? Why not have no doubt? I see what it's doing to the world, exactly what the scripture says. I see exactly what's going on. Uh, when I came, when I came into holiness, you know, stopping no Christmas, you know, Christmas, no Christmas. That was a battle, man. I'm talking about. I'm getting ready to cut my family off. I'm, I'm just just stay to on, have peace. Stay, stay on that pinky for me. How, 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 <laughs> stay on that, that pinky bad. before we go on. Bad. Stay on that pinky. How tough was, was that? I'm it was bad. You it was that. It's still going on. Wow. It's horrible. It's horrible. Uh, you know, you know, my mom's, you know, preacher, you know, my dad not so much. He didn't really care about it. Um, you know, my mother in law, my wife's mother, you know, is Catholic, you know. You have all these different denominations around us that really love this time of year. Mm-hmm. You know, and I grew up as 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 a huge Christmas fan. And to let that go, you know, was already hard enough. And now I gotta battle my own family members. Mm-hmm. Over that one holiday, wow. that that's not the only holiday. Mm-hmm. Over that one holiday, oh man, that that was one of the hardest. <laughs> <laughs> that was a hard battle just for me, and then you just get sucker punched with the fam, with the family. Man, that was hard. That was that was hard. Especially when they already get gifts for the kids, and you say, uh, no, oh, we're, not, we're not taking. Yeah, it. we're not taking. We can't it. do it. What, what do you mean you're not taking that? Who do you think you are, huh? In this yeah. cult under Geno Jennings, who do you think you are, huh? What oh, is yeah. this? What do you mean you can't you accept said the my exact, gift? Exact same word. That's what it is. We can't take it. <laughs> exact same word. Yeah, we, we can't take it. We can't do it. I'm sorry. We can't even come home during this time. Mm-hmm. Because I don't want you to get the, the impression that mm-hmm. we are celebrating it. Exactly. So we don't even go home during that time. Uh, Easter. Yeah. Another one. That was another one. Mm-hmm. Um. And I, I think you know Halloween. You know we re- never really celebrate Halloween, but yeah. yeah. I mean Halloween was an obvious one, but some are just you know, oh yeah. Stubborn some still stuff. do it. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Of course. Hallelujah night, you know, things like yeah, that. Okay, okay. No, a, a Baptist yeah. church that I was in, mm-hmm. they said here's here's what their saying was: instead of going out and letting our children go out in the world and celebrate the Halloween, yes, we're gonna do it inside the church. Hallelujah. Yes. Do you understand? We're gonna have yep. them do it here. Okay, we're gonna have a Christian Halloween glory, huh? Yeah. Oh, what? So you're telling me we're doing the same thing, but we're doing it in the church? Mm-hmm. You, you you can't make this up. And when I was like young, 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 you know, I didn't really see it. I'm in there, this and that, <laughs> candy and stuff like that. But as I got older, yes, and I was really wanted to, you know, seek God. I'm like, this don't make no sense. Like, look what it does. Look, look at what's behind Halloween. Mm-hmm. And you're telling me we're just gonna bring this inside the church. Inside, inside God's temple, like it, it, it made no sense. It made, but some they still are gonna do it. Still, they still are, do I, it. I, I, yeah, that's that's different. But no, I know that stuff right there. The Christmas, the Easter, especially Christmas. Uh, spa- listen, my wife's family, I mean, her aunt, you know, she she's a comedian. <laughs> so <laughs> she was like, oh, I'm like, no, we don't celebrate it. You know, I'm telling you, this is why da da da. And then I read the scripture for in the book of Jeremiah uh, mm. about, you know, the, the gold and silver that's on the tree. And then she's like, but no, you see our tree, it has blue. It has... <laughs> same exact, same exact words. 
Archie, Archie, yeah. it's blue and blue and other. <laughs> yeah. They even said, uh, Archie is fake. We don't go cut nothing down. What you mean? I'm like, oh my gosh, man. And you know, being all <laughs> and you know, being all over the way. <laughs> I, I traveled the entire world yeah. and around that time, mm. Christ is not even mentioned. Exactly. And so it was way before, yeah. you know, and I tried to explain that, you know, mm. oh, I, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do it. Yeah. I'm the one got to answer to God on that day. Yeah. I said, oh, okay. All right. And they don't even all know right. what they're saying when they say They don't even know what they're saying. I did. Yeah. My so I said, all right. No, I, I won't be there. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but it just, it just goes to show what people will do just to keep their uh, 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 tradition. Mm -hmm. Because if it was so much about Christ, why don't we do it every day? Why exactly. Why do we just pick? They're telling me that's how unimportant Christ is. We're only going to have one day out of the year. To, oh, yeah. to, we're celebrating Christ and the, just one day out of the year. Why don't we do this every single day? My day yeah. But it just shows people are going to do whatever they got to do to stay in whatever they're in and so forth. Mm -hmm. you know? so, but but no, brother, man, thank you very much for coming on and sharing your testimony. That's why I say you never know what to expect, you know, with, with, with someone sharing the testimony. I, I had no clue. I had no clue. You know, Islam would have would have come in there. But just <laughs> that process. Once again, you know, Tony Smith and all you false prophets. I got listen, oh, y'all yeah. are getting souls for y'all are getting souls. <laughs> yeah. Oh my, you know, I had no clue. That is crazy. That is just cr no, the way God works. I, I see how he works in mysterious ways, you know? I, oh, I, I, that, was, that was mysterious. Here you are. He does. Lord, I, you just you know, give me something for mm -hmm. Jesus. Give me something for Jesus. You get across Tony Harvin. That's not it, man. This is, you know, mm -hmm. my days are, you know, no, no. Inshallah, I get to the Masjid and then you get the Shahada done and stuff like that. Forget this, you know? Just let me, let me, let me go, go on and click off and stuff. Uh, Pastor Gino Jennings. Huh? Oh, yeah. Hmm. I'll never forget it. Man, let me, let me, Gino Jennings, let me. Yeah, who is this? He caused him this much trouble? Yeah, who, who's oh, who, who is, is this guy? Who, who is this Gino Jennings, eh? And who's here this? is it. So as you see, you see it, brothers and sisters, you see it. Here mm -hmm. is one, I believe you're the first testimony where I believe, can't remember from the past. If not, mm -hmm. you know, correct me, brothers and sisters. But I believe you're either the first or one of the first um, to literally come in this thing from hearing the apostle's name from a false prophet. From somebody, although I know there was one recently, but the way you it, it came for you because this man, because some they hear Gino Jennings, but it's not like hate, you know, it's just they, you know, they copy him, they stuff like that. But then Tony Smith, I know that was a whole, you know, left and right. And you know, PJ, oh, yeah. they 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 were willing, they I believe they did, they were willing to pay for his hotel, pay for his food, pay for his yeah. flight to come, and everything. Yeah. And he cowered it out, he did mm -hmm. not show up. That's what happened in. That just goes to show a lot of these men, they're just barking, 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 barking. But when it's time to come, when it's time to settle the score, nowhere to be found. They just, he, 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 was a, he cowered it out. He cowered it out oh, yeah. and so forth. But, you know, we give God thanks for, you know, giving you the opportunity to come into his holy way and hearing your prayer. You know, I, it, it, this is a consistent thing. You know, brothers and sisters mm -hmm. that have been sincere, that have been having a burning fire in them, a burning desire to really get right with God. And no matter what, because now you asked for it, you received it, you could have easily said, nah, nah, nah. Nah, this man, he's arrogant. Click off. Let me go to the message. Let me go yeah. do this left and right. But just when you have that burning desire, when you have that sincerity inside of you, you're, you're going to go after the truth. You're, you're going to go after it. It's going to be tough. It's going to be rough. But stay in it. You're going to struggle. You have some times you're going to cry. You're going to have some times, man, you're going to be hurt. Yeah. Still stay in this. I'm telling y'all, this is the holy. Way. This is God's church, you know, and He only has one. So you, you, you judge yourself now and, and think about that for a second. And for you to even leave, uh, leave your, your 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 father, and then your, your mother, because not all people could do that. Not all mm -hmm. can do as much as some could say, "Oh no, that's easy peasy tilala ampo." No, not everyone can do that. Some it's that mm -hmm. fear. It's that, but when you don't care, when you have that burning desire, when you have that in you, it don't matter. Especially, I'm about to listen to a man that is preaching against my own, my own blood, my own dad. Oh, yeah. He's saying my dad is a false prophet. He's saying my nope. dad is on his way to hell. 
He's saying my dad and the church he's in don't baptize correctly. He's saying mm -hmm. my mom can't preach. So who this man talking about? Who this man talking oh, yeah. to? He's talking about my parents. Oh no, when I see him, it's on. When I see him, it's on. <laughs> it's up. We up, man. We up. Oh yeah. No, it's that humbleness and just that desire to be right no matter what. We give I give a thanks for you, brother Smiley. I pray that you be smiling yes, throughout the week and throughout the rest of the year. <laughs> yes, sir. You're not gonna get you in that one. You're not gonna get you in that one. You know, Lord I, willing. I, I, I give God thanks for you, brother, for coming on and sharing your testimony. Um, this was wow, you know, very encouraging. Uh, um, if you're looking to encourage one person, you you have encouraged myself. You know, this testimony was just man. It just it's it's like already made my day. You know, just to hear how God can work, like and how He can get a soul. It it's just crazy. It's you just can't make this stuff up. You just can't. You know. So I give God thanks for you. Brothers and sisters, those of you <clears throat> that are ready and willing to share your testimony, <clears throat> you can email me at info at ithrivepodcast.com. You can go on the website or put a request to share your testimony. You can catch me on Facebook. You can catch me on Instagram, or you can catch me live or in person. But as I said, make sure you are ready and willing. What do I mean ready and willing? That you have no doubts about this way and that you know you are sure about this way. Not what you're going to come and testify about this way. And the next thing you know, you backslide a year later, two years later. Then you're going to come and try to ask me, can you take my testimony off? I'm going to tell you, no, look, this is my no in advance. No, it's not coming off. <laughs> it's going to stay right here. You're going to look foolish while you testify about the goodness of what God has done for you and this and that just for you to go speak against it now. So here's the no in advance. N-O. All right. And if you don't understand that, spell on backwards so you can get it. Brothers and sisters, thank you for listening so much. Share this, like, subscribe, all this wonderful stuff. Brother Smiley, thank you once again for coming on and sharing your testimony. Hopefully, Lord willing, I can see you at the end of the year, the family and this and that and all this stuff. I, I, sure. And, you know, because I would love to meet my brothers and sisters live or in person and so forth. So it's truly a blessing. And, and I'm grateful that you're able to Damn. come on and share your testimony. Thank you very much, brothers. Brother, uh, I'm truly grateful. Thank you very much, brothers and sisters, for listening. May God keep you. May God preserve you. Don't forget, this podcast affiliates itself with one church and one church only. That is First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ, where the leader, teacher, and guide is Apostle Pastor Genogenics. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. God bless and peace be on to you.